the court. Today, our heroes are TikTokers and YouTubers. But for 50-year-old Alonso Quesada, who lived in the village of La Mancha in Spain, the real heroes were knights. He loved reading books about knights and their exciting adventures. He could talk about them to his friends for hours. One day, he decided to become a knight. He didn't have a lot of money and couldn't afford a strong young horse. Nevertheless, he named his old horse Rocinante. He thought it was the perfect name for a knight's horse. He also found some old armor. He called himself Don Quixote and he referred to an unsophisticated and modest peasant woman as Dulcinea. Every knight has a young woman who is the center of his world and to whom he can tell about his heroic deeds. So he also decided to worship his dear Dulcinea. Now that he has a horse, a girl, and armor, he was ready to become a knight and fight for a better world. Uh, one, one morning, at the beginning of July, he, did, uh, he was ready to set on, on his journey. Suddenly, he remembered that he could not fight other knights unless someone declared him a knight as well. Soon, he arrived at a small inn. In his eyes, it looked like a castle. He thought he would meet important people there. The innkeeper thought Don Quixote was a little strange, but he still asked him if he was a knight. I'm not, but maybe you can help me, he replied to the innkeeper. The innkeeper didn't know anything about knights, but wanted to have satisfied guests. So he said, yes, you're in the right place. Problem started when Don Quixote beat a guest who moved his armor and then beat another man who came by with his donkey. The innkeeper didn't want any problems in his inn, so he said to Don Quixote that he didn't have to wait for the morning. Instead, he would declare him, he would declare him a knight immediately. Touching his shoulder with his cane, the innkeeper told him that he was now a knight and that he was good to go. The overjoyed Don Quixote immediately went in search for his knightly challenges. The very next day, next to a tree, he saw a peasant who was severely beating a boy. The, this seemed like a good opportunity for his first action. The peasant said that the boy deserved to be beaten because he didn't take good care of the sheep. But the boy claimed that the farmer didn't pay him. Uh, Don Quixote threatened the peasant that he would kill him uh, unless he stopped beating uh, the boy and did not pay him. Uh, the peasant said that he would take him to his house and give him money. Don Quixote believed him, so he mounted his horse and left. The peasant then continued to beat the boy even harder. After riding a few kilometers, he bumped into <coughs> six rich merchants. He asked them, isn't Duchina the most beautiful woman in the world? The astonished merchant did not know what to answer, but the offended Don Quixote rushed at them, and they didn't stay still. They broke his spear and beat him up. After some time, he was found by a peasant from a nearby village. He picked him up and put him on his donkey. In chapter 2, Don Quixote experienced many adventures. On his way to find the witch, he meets Sancho, Sancho Panza, who becomes his helper. On their journey, they pass some wood mines. Don Quixote doesn't see any wood mines. Instead, he has the illusion that there are giants. He wants to attack them. Even though Sancho Panza wanted him, since he didn't listen to his helper. He got injured dur during his fight. He realized that Sancho Panza was right and believed that magic turned the mines into giants. Don Quixote and his friend Sancho Pancho, Panzana continued continue, con, continue, continue walking. After a while, they met the doctor on the way to the next city. The doctor had a pot on his head. Don Quixote wanted the pot, but in his fantasy, it was a special helmet. So he went to the doctor and said, Hey, give me your helmet. It's a very special helmet. The doctor was at first confused. But he said, no, I need it. I need to have a client for the next, in the next city. But Don Quixote didn't listen to him. So he threatened the 
The doctor, but the doctor. The doctor got the break, so he gave him his helmet. After a while of walking, Don Quixote and his friends found two kings and a lot of knights. But in real life, it was just shepherds and the sheep. Don Quixote thought they were fighting, so they ran, he ran to him, to them. But Sancho Panza wanted to warn, but it was too late. Don Quixote already killed seven sheep, and the shepherds got very angry, so they just throw food at them. Don Quixote doesn't understand because he just wanted to help them. Don Quixote and Sancho Panza sent off to a new journey to find Dulcina and Don Tobosco. They slept under a tree until the following morning. The following morning, they went to find Dulcinea, as Don Quixote told to Sancho. But Sancho realized Don Quixote was crazy, so she came up with a plan. Uh, he found her young girls and presented one of them as Dulcinea. As soon as Don Quixote saw her, he called her ugly and he sold her in every way possible, due to the fact that it wasn't his love. Uh, the girls left off on their dungeons. Uh, then Don Quixote and Sancho kept on fighting. While adventuring, they realized that a new journey was about to start. Don Quixote started to sing about his love while another knight heard him. Don Quixote? Don Quixote? Uh, a Don Quixote had a friendly conversation with him, but it turned out into an argument. Both knights agreed to the, for the fight to take place in the morning when the sun came up. Don Quixote was curious to see the other knight's face and find out who he was. He was told that he would be able to see his face when he defeated him. As soon as Don Quixote saw the other squares big nose, he was afraid and asked Sancho to help him climb a tree. The other knight waited for him to come down, but he didn't. He got sick and tired of waiting, and he took off his mask. Don Quixote was surprised when he realized the other knight was an old friend of his, Sancho Carrasco. Uh, Sancho Panza. Uh, Sancho Panza and Don Quixote agreed on their trip and continued the journey to find the beautiful Lucina. Come, come by. Don Quixote and Sancho Panza start their journey again. They meet a rich man, Don Diego de Miranda. Sancho leaves them to look for some food, and he finds a man with about 20 sheep. He wants to buy some milk, but he hasn't a bottle, so he decides to use Don Quixote's helmet, and he comes back. Suddenly, some men come down the road. Quickly, Sancho, bring me my helmet. I have to fight against these strong knights, and your adventure is waiting for me. Sancho, uh, Don Quixote says, Wait, sir, be careful. There is something in your helmet. Sancho replies, but he puts it on his head anyways, and the milk starts to drop down on his face. It is not my fault. It must be the work of the flesh of the wizard. Sancho cleans the helmet, and the knight is ready for a new adventure. Is some man with some horse pulling a large box. What do you see, Don Quixote? Don Diego de Miranda asks. There are adventure everywhere, Don Quixote says. I think those men are from the king's castle. They, have, they may have something in this box. Don Quixote stops the carriage and asks what is inside. The man answers, There is a lion for the king. Open the, open the box. I want to fight a lion. Everybody is very scared. And when the man open the box, they quickly hide. The first lion looks at donkey shot and falls asleep. Can you see? The lion is afraid of me. From now on, please call me the knight of the lions. Don Quixote and 
such a box has started the journey again and stuck at the knee. The innkeeper welcomes Mr. Pedro and his ticket company. Mr. Pedro goes to the kitchen to collect some information about Don Quixote and Sancho Panza. Don Quixote asks the innkeeper, Who is this man? He and his company are famous in every town, and he has a very clever monkey that can look at you and see inside your head. Then the monkey tells Pedro everything about that person. So Sancho asks, Tell me about my wife. Pedro reports that the monkey can tell the present and the past, but not the future, and says, I know about you, I know about you. What? You are Don Quixote and Sancho Panza, and I know about your incredible adventures. Teresa is at home with a bottle of wine near her. Don Quixote and Sancho Panza are amazed and stay away from the monkey and Pedro that night, and they leave the inn early in the morning. Camisiva in chapter 5. Sancho Panza wants to go to his house, but Don Quixote pays Sancho more ducats and Sancho stay with him. Then Sancho tells to Don Quixote that he wants to be the king of a country. Don Quixote says to him that he will be 20 years with him, and Don Quixote will look for a country for Sancho. Then they need to import some persons, and they say to Sancho that he can be king of a small country. So he and Don Quixote stay in their palace, and when they sleep, the woman and the man love of them because it's a girl. Sancho. Sancho was very nervous and was asking Don Quixote questions like, how do you think I will be a good king? Don Quixote tried to calm him down and gave him at least to be a good king. The next day, Sancho Panza went to his new country. Sancho Panza was crowned king of Baratun. Sancho, uh, Sancho was a very important king and had many jobs to do. The first job has to do to help everyone who had problems. And I didn't matter if it was good or right. Sancho Panza discovered that everything had been a scam and he had been scammed. He got angry because he was so angry, he broke the game. Leaving everyone amazed, sight, there was no money inside. King Sancho broke the stick and he spoke to the first old man. When you came here, your friend saved your money and the stick now to have it. Go home. Sancho Panza worked very hard to make Baratayo's people happy. Uh, uh, but he wasn't because uh, he didn't have the things he wanted. His doctor said always that uh, uh, he can't eat some food because uh, some men want to kill him. Uh, but one day Sancho Panza was very angry with him, so he took him out of the castle. But then a letter said that uh, he is in danger, so he can't eat food. Uh, at night, uh, he listened to uh, strange noises. You are our queen, so put on your armor and go out to fight, said a man. He fell to the ground and everything was dark. Everyone who passed by tripped over him. Suddenly, everything was over and his men showed, We have won! We have won! Sancho said, I am going to, with my knight, Don Quixote. I don't deserve this. 